I'd like to call the meeting of the Woodbury Select Board to order. Do I have a motion? Oh. Call oh. order? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, a motion. Is that what you meant? We don't usually have a motion. It's I'm trying motion. to follow. I'm, I'm learning from, from Stephen, so I'm trying to do it right. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, do I have a second to call the meeting to order? Say um, second. Second. <laughs> all those in favor say aye. 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 All right, so the select board for March 13th, 2023 has been called to order. Uh, we'd like to welcome our brand new select board member, Lizzie Higgins. Thank you. <laughs> We're excited to have a new person on the committee. Um, and we have a whole bunch of work that we're going to get try to get done. So um, the first thing is that we try to organize our new board. I'd like to make a motion that Chris be elected as our chairman again. Second. <laughs> Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So, uh, Chris Codius remains uh, chair for one more year. Mm -hmm. We need a clerk. We also need a clerk. Do we have any nominations for a clerk? I can nominate myself, but you can nominate me. Okay. I'd like to nominate Diana Pizzucci for clerk. Do I have a second? I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, Diana Pizzucci is clerk. Great. Um, adjustments to the select board agenda. I neglected to put other business on the agenda. So I'd like to sneak that in there maybe uh, before our executive session. Okay. Unless we decide to take Norman earlier. Um, mm. I don't know if he comes in under public comment or... You can happily be under okay. public comment. Okay, that'd be good. Which I think would be most appropriate. <coughs> that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the anonymous. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I have one addition, which is that during executive session, uh, we're going to, we would like to have a conversation with Alfred Larrabee about staffing positions at the town garage. Okay. But that will be during executive session. Any other adjustments to the published select board agenda? Okay, hearing none, um, we are in the middle, essentially, of approving bills and payroll orders. Payroll orders have been approved. Warrants are in the midst of being approved, and they will be approved immediately following the meeting. Uh, approval of minutes from the February 27th meeting. Those have been reviewed and signed by Diana and Chris. They are available for review for our new member, Lizzie Higgins, but with two members, they are approved. And now we are open for public comment. Okay. Um, I'd like to recognize <clears throat> my kind. So, yeah, the, just a couple quick things. Um, one, uh, the Woodbury Fund had a meeting um, recently, and uh, basically, uh, the seven of us uh, decided that we'd be uh, 
uh, for being renewed again for this coming year. Um, if that you choose to do that. So, um, there's that piece. Um, the other thing is um, I'm helping the fire department do some fundraising stuff. And um, we're submitting applications to uh, Welch's office and Senator Sanders' office uh, for um, those congressionally directed grants. Um, and uh, we're interested in uh, getting a support letter from the town select board. Um, we're uh, looking to get funding is through the community facilities program from uh, you know Department of Agriculture, uh, Rural Development. Um, a Woodbury can, can get up to 15% project uh, grant based on the project cost. So I'm sorry, um, you said what? You can get up to 15%? Up to 15% of project cost mm. for community facilities. Um, mm. And um, so I'm working on those applications now. Uh, they're, um, the, the one for Welch's office is due on Thursday. Um, oh. And I sent to a draft to, uh, to Diane and Robin for, you know, what, what could be said in that, so it mm. make it easy for you, or try to make it easier for you. It's a draft that you can feel free, of course, to change it. Oh, wait, for us to draft a what? A draft of a letter. The uh, letter. A oh. letter uh, to go to, uh, to Walter's yeah. office and Sandra's office. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, I just, uh, this all came down today when I realized that, uh, Welch's office requires that those support letters be sent with the application, which is unusual. Uh -huh. uh, so oh. I scramble it together, and I'm sure when I review it in the morning, I'll have some suggested okay. changes to what I wrote. Because typically, if I review something I've written the mm -hmm. day later, I, I see where all my mistakes were and how I can improve it. Oh, so, yeah. Keep probably, so you'll probably get a new draft, but if you. Uh, I appreciate it if you consider um, sending a support letter. So I'd like to um, make a motion that we sign that support letter, even though it'll be after the meeting, but, you know, can't wait for another two weeks, so. No. No. What do you like? Um, I would make a motion to sign the draft support letter with amendments, potentially. Well, you should probably get a copy of it, too. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll it's okay. I'm <laughs> sure Diana can send it to both of us. Yeah, and it's my draft. It's your letter, so of course mm -hmm. feel free to uh, yeah. improve on, on it. Yeah. Or may just yeah. make changes. Yeah. Yeah. May not be improved. Yeah. Maybe it's worse. Yeah. Well, when we, I know when we were working on the FEMA project all those years, one of the women from the state office sort of whispered in my ear, contact your legislators in Washington, and boy, it really helped. <laughs> I mean, they didn't give us more money, but they got things moving. So, yeah. Yeah, well, it's hard to know how this will work. There'll be, I'm sure, lots of people submitting uh, requests uh. For, for grants and so on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but, you know, it's worth a try, trying mm -hmm. anything to reduce the cost of local taxpayers. That's wonderful. So. Thank you for your work. I appreciate okay, thank it. Thank you. Right. Well. So, do I have a second? Yeah. Second, yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. So we have to make sure that we review that as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Diana, will you please oh. send that draft to I both Lizzie and I? Okay. And then we will get something back mm -hmm. to him as soon as possible. Alrighty. And Thursday is our deadline, so mm -hmm. three days. Okay. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Any other public comment? I don't know if it needs to be in a, a public comment because you have a you have a line in your agenda for appointments. Um, you know that positions need to be appointed, but there was a library position that wasn't even listed. So I don't know if we can cover it under that. Interesting. It was listed online, so it's on the website. But it's still there. On the website. <laughs> Not part you of mean our. It wasn't in the town report. In our town right. report. So I reviewed the, ah. everything. And I looked at the website, yeah. so I didn't look at. Report when everybody oh. said you need changes. Oh, gracious me. Until we got there, and I said, Shoot. Okay. Well, let me so I don't know if that needs to be a separate topic or if it can go down with that. Um, so, which one is it? Is it Laura? Three years. Three years. Is it Laura? Because she can't be elected, she has to be appointed. It's, it's another a three one. Year, it's a three year position. Mm -hmm. So, either somebody could be elected, and if not, then we'll appoint Laura again, but we'd have to meet as trustees to do that. So. 
Oh. We just weren't sure if, since it wasn't in the town report, we have to post it? Or can we just we'll be do done, an appointment? Right. What we've done historically is put out a notice, you know, a notice of vacancy seeking people who are interested mm -hmm. to submit a letter of interest their qualifications or reasons why they like to so. mm -hmm. How many three-year terms do you have? No. Ideally, you have to have five trustees, and ideally you have all five as three-year terms. That's but, what I did. But. but the reason we didn't do all three-year terms this year is because then in three years we'd have four more people up. You know, we have to get out of a cycle where there's only one trustee. But, yeah, and there was a time when the library board decided they wanted to have different lengths right. of terms because some people might not want to serve more than a year of course they can quit whenever they want so, <laughs> but, uh, so that led to a lot of confusion about who's what so we had um, terry was elected to three years right. steve murphy to two years august elliott was elected and then there was and, another open three-year term that didn't get oh. in the printed report but it is online but and you're still i'm still you don't yeah I was, expire till 24. And over the past year, we've had two appointees. We've had four members on the five-member board. Two were appointed, and we've had one open position this past year. So you've only got four members, even with Laura. No, with Laura. This year, if we mm -hmm. can appoint Laura or get some other trustee, they will have five. We know, we know Laura will take the appointment. We just didn't know what the official way of going about it was. Do we have to post that since it wasn't in the town before? Yes. So, no, I mean there weren't a lot of people at town meeting raising their hand to be on <laughs> I know. to be a library trustee. So to put it out there again, you know, I mean, it wasn't if you out there. Out there, there again, if you put it out there no. again, do you have to have a special election. We can still make an appointment as long as the, as far as I understand, as long as it has been warned, people can write a letter. Mm -hmm suggesting that they would like to be part of the board okay. and then the appointment can move forward okay. based so on based on the group who has expressed an interest okay so we need to do that morning and then and then we can move forward okay. mm -hmm. um, I, I just want to say oh, sorry. I, I i agree with that because it should have been up for election at the meeting mm -hmm. and it was not so we so that's why I we, think we should publicize mm -hmm. it to the community we cannot make a so you should you write something up and uh, yeah. post it he's our writer he'll do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it should come from us not from you so. okay. it, it should come from us okay yeah. but if you don't mind writing a draft i will to yeah. submit to us and then we can publicize it i'll send it to you tomorrow we have a draft Sounds that lovely. we submitted at some point during last year Trying to get applicants for, like I said, mm -hmm. we have that vacancy open throughout the year. Right. So we've got a, we've got a sort of a form letter. So, we, so one, two, three, four. I almost one, two, think that, um, you know, online it says three year term, three year term. I wonder if somebody was editing that and said, oh, they duplicated this line. Or something. Yeah, it seems like it certainly could be on one of us for having duplicated something. I, I wouldn't be shocked. Um, I mean, I think it's just, just you know going through and editing and doing. So, with the, a person to fill that slot, there would be four of you. Plus, I we mean, only have four. four. So we have me. We have Stephen. We have August or August. Yeah. And Terry. we have Terry. Okay. So the, We're looking for a So there's no sense, but. It's a shame not to appoint Laura because she's working hard at. Uh, well, there's the, two things. One is it may, may very well be that we're going to warn this and nobody else is going to step yeah. forward. Yeah. And two is Laura said, even if somebody does step forward, yeah, she'll continue she to volunteer. <laughs> Figure that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yes, yeah, she just does work hard. <laughs> <laughs> what about Elizabeth? Yep. Okay. We just Great. didn't need to go in the town report. I'm confused. Go ahead, please. Was that three-year term supposed to be printed in the town yes. report? Yes. Yes. Two, two, there three. There were supposed terms. to be two three-year terms. Two three-year terms. But you just said, Stephen, that it was appointed. It didn't need to be in there. Uh, well, if it's, no. You know, no. The election's supposed to come first, and then if nobody runs for the election, then it's appointed. Then it's appointed afterwards. And then it's every year appointed. Okay. Yeah. Correct. I mean, we just 
you know, I'm sure Robin after just after went that, it's no, no, to no, last no, no. year's town report and saw it's how it was nice. done. And, you know, the, li the library board doesn't come to us and say these are the appointments we have to, she has to keep track of it. So. Sorry. It's. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's on the website, though, so I think at some point it was all in there. In the website, yeah. Yeah. But if you, but if you, if, you know, if you're going through and editing something written and you see the same line twice, mm -hmm. your inclination is to say, oh, that's somebody mm -hmm. made a mistake, I shouldn't get rid of it. I, it just seems like that would be the logical thing to have happened, you know. That's strange, though, that it, so it was in the town report that was posted on the website? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So how do your terms run? A one year, a two year, a three year, a four year, and a five year? No. Ideally, they're all three years, but they're not all the same year. Yeah, I understand that. Right. They'd be staggered, but what we got, essentially we got behind that staggering process because we, we didn't have elected officials to run three terms. We had three yeah. open seats. Mm -hmm. And some of us had to resign because of conflict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I think we get okay. that. Okay. okay. So, we're done so we have a plan? Yes. Yeah. Sound reasonable? Mm -hmm. yeah. Send us something and we'll get that out as soon as possible. Don't What's forget Pie Breakfast. <laughs> yeah, don't forget. <laughs> March 25th. March 25th. Mm -hmm. 8 to 10.30. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for Thank bringing you. this to our attention. We appreciate it. So will it be a three-year term? It's a three-year term. Yeah. Is there any other public I stuck comment? I at the town office when I got the email. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? Okay. Great. Uh, may we please have the town clerk's report? Okay. First thing is the highway job posting did not get put in the world this week because I was out sick Thursday. I'm sorry to hear that. And so it's going to run the weeks of the 22nd and the 29th in the world. I did make it into the Hardwick Gazette for this week. Mm -hmm. But the 29th, isn't the cutoff date like the 30th or something? It was originally the 20th. Yeah. And we backed it up to the 31st. 31st. So that yeah. will still be two weeks that it's... But if it doesn't come out until the 29th, is it worth doing it that second time? I mean, people don't... You said the 29th, it's up to right? you guys. Mm hmm? Can we have it as rolling? Is there any reason that we can't say that? Mm, no, you could. I don't see any reason why we have to have a firm deadline. We have an open position. Any any thoughts? Uh, you could just not mention it. You could just say. No thoughts. Exactly. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We wanted yesterday. People were yeah. Yeah. It was a somewhat of an arbitrary deadline in the first place. Yeah, trying to get somebody just to trying to get an applicant in. Get uh, right. right. Don't just sit and think about it for a month. <laughs> um, Might be too late. But. Okay, we can so say let's we take can, out that. Um, but we already published the ads. We can't. We can't. But it's not going to. Well. So I heard that is this week. Right, and that's fine. And that says the 31st. That's yes. The yeah. And you could probably make the change. With the world. Call the, the world. No, but you could call the Gazette and make the change tomorrow if you want. By change removing the But as of right now, I've only gotten the Hagrid Gazette one week. Okay. Which is this week? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we could modify the ad to say that applications were re reviewed on a first, first come, first serve basis. Well, that's not really true either. Um, but it's, just take that out. Is. Just take that line out. Just don't just say take anything. Just out. Just take a. Don't say a deadline. Okay. Alfie, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think that we don't need the deadline. I mean, it's. I don't know if we need anything saying that we. 
uh, it's open until it's filled. You could say that. You know, something yeah. of that nature. But what I'm finding is it's there are people that are limited on time that they can give to us. Mm -hmm. So having more than one applicant might not be a terrible thing. Ah. Oh. You know. Great. Mm -hmm. Just because, I mean, some of the guys are already retired, they're limited to how much money they can make or how much time they can work. Mm -hmm. So if I had more than one mm -hmm. to choose from, that might not, be, might not be a bad yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Let's change it into open until filled. Okay. And then I have the new paperwork for VLTC on the new people taking positions. So, Stephen, what do you want for a work phone number for you right now? I got down the town clerk's office. I'd be happy to put down my home phone, too. And yeah. that is? 802-45. Do you want this recorded? Yeah, I'm waiting. This is for. This is going to our uh, BLCT is our insurance. That um. Right. For moderator, yeah. they'll send you an email. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. So I'll need I'll email and office. and phone numbers. I'll need it for Lizzie. And what do I have for Chris? Chris, I got the town office phone number for you. Hmm. Yes. With no email address, so I'll need an really? email address. Um, it's all have, on that green sheet. Yeah. They're all on the green sheet. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I will give them to you uh, immediately following the meeting. Okay. I'll do that too. Okay. Thank you. As Stephen will, <laughs> independently. <laughs> Thank you. And... Other than that, I got the, the re request in on that roller thing that I believe you're going to talk about, mm -hmm. the grant. So I'll leave that for you. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I believe town meeting went okay. Other than my oopsie with the library. <laughs> I think it went. I think it went just wonderfully. Actually, it's nice to be back in the town meeting setting. So. Yep. So I think that's all I have, other than that anybody that was elected to an office has to come to the office to fill out their oath. When does that need to happen? Well, I can get yours tonight. Oh, yeah. perfect. <laughs> that works. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Turkey. Okay, that's it. Um... Ms. Brandy, may we have the town treasurer's report, please? Mm -hmm. So, in front of you, you have balance sheet, financial statement, and the two group um, Any questions? Just, yeah. So, um, over the last two weeks, cash receipts, we took in $1,217.80. Delinquency, we took in $1,094 even. Uh, money market, I had to transfer $15,000 from the money market to checking. Uh, payroll, $8,947.08. Accounts payable, $15,848.51. So I applied for BLCT's passive grant this calendar year, which um, we got. Woo -hoo. Um, Congratulations! So Thank you. Pay for um, our cameras to be install installed um, at the garage and at the town office. Awesome. Um, Is that another six thousand dollars? Yes. And that was the most important thing, safety-wise, we could come up with. That's going to absorb all the money. Yeah. yeah. Is he going to have to come around again this year? Who's What's he? the guy's name? Larry? If they choose to. Oh. <laughs> Do they come around every year? I don't know. I took him around last year. Yeah, they do it every year. 
Mm-hmm. I think yeah. they'd inspect every year. So I also did a printout from Municipal Energy Resilience Grant Program. So I skimmed it. I printed one off for all of you. It's something that I would love for us to apply for and possibly use the town office and the town hall. Can we use the garage as well, Ms. Randy? Yeah, it can be. It, can be, um, it doesn't have a, when I read this initially, it doesn't matter how many structures we Correct. actually identify, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, but I was super excited about this. So I'd love for, so, um, to have some backup with this guy because it looks like there's a lot that has to be put into it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it looks like $4,000 total. Oh, you have to keep there's No. That's just the applications for 4000 Oh, okay. Oh, applications for energy assessment. We kind of went through this already a couple years ago, had our energy assessments and applied for the ARPA money. And Energy Efficiency Vermont was going to give us like $3,000 on each building, but that hasn't been followed up on because we lost our energy auditor and then people didn't have time to come and do the work. And so it's good to keep, keep going for whatever we can get. I think it's a great thing to apply for, and I'm willing to help. Thank you. Uh, for sure. Another thing, um, with new people coming into office, my job is to deal with paperwork. So, that being said, um, our town policy. It's still kind of willy-nilly. I would love for it to not be willy-nilly. Um, the other thing is the harass, sexual harassment. Each new select board needs to sign off on it and the town policy also. So that when I hand it to a new employee, um, everything is current. I am working with our auditors to establish new policies that we do not currently have. One is a financial and banking policy that protects my tiny um, and the towns by setting the rules and that there's, so I sent that around to our auditors. Um, I also went on to um, the Callis, Town of Callis website and um, printed out their town policy and their internal controls, which I would love. Um, For sake of comparison? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so once, typically, auditors establish policies, um, and then it would go before the select board to sign off on. Um, so I'm going to get as many as I can lined up to give to the auditors, bounce them by email, paper copies, um, to get their opinions, and then go from there. Um, but I would like it to be current. Um, I don't like handing out a policy that is still in the works or that I can't have ground on it. Um, so you're referring to the fact that we still haven't finished updating a personnel policy. Yes, but I didn't want to say it like that. <laughs> but that's true. Well, we all kind of know. <laughs> it wasn't, you were being sneaky. You might have tried, but... <laughs> We can't, like, push it under the rug, but we can't deal with it either. Well, it has to be a priority of our, our, of our agenda. Mm -hmm. And now you have it. This is the... So this isn't the one, this isn't the one that came from VLCT, the final version. The, the last VLCT version is not this. I believe... Well, there's, I mean, you might, it, you have to change so much already, but um, I believe Michael has it. I thought, yeah. when I looked back into my emails, that was the, the current one. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. again, um, I'm handing that out to employees. And this is our active policy. It's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the, the chart, the name chart, we don't go by that. We, there's yep. no. There's a lot of things that are the in there. Threshold of checking in every six months is not happening. Yeah. I didn't bring my personal policy folder. All right, um, so. Um, other stuff I have established um, my role in a policy for the delinquencies. That is going out, went out in the mail today with. Um, so yeah. So um, we get to see that. Um, we don't. We don't. We don't need to. Mm -hmm. She was elected. I know that. She's doing her job. I sent out warnings, and I will be contacting uh, an attorney. Is this sexual harassment policy it's separate from problem. the personal policy? Yes, it's a, another um, it's a separate, um, separate set of statutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is one that we've looked at previously. Um, it's, every year, it's supposed to have a new select board signature. signature. Oh, okay. Yep. So you, this came from. This is the one that we have used in the past, as far as I know. It's it a, is. It oh, is it? Needs, okay. It just needs signatures. Signature. Oh, signature. Okay. So can we just highlight, select one that we all sign? Mm -hmm. Lizzie? Only a part, guys. If you feel like you're comfortable having reviewed it. I'm good with that. Okay. So Lizzie, as far as this work on the town buildings, I was hoping to pass along to you some of the information we collected from like the uh, the uh, historic building specialist who did the assessment on the town hall and list of things that he thinks should be done. And okay, your area, right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to send that to me via email, or um, do you have um, information? I'm just gonna have to make copies and get them to you, I guess. Okay. That's Good. My scanner doesn't work, but... Is there anything else? Lovely. Okay. So, Mr. Larrabee, can we move on to the Road Commissioner's report, please? Sure. I won't pile any work on to you like Brandy did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really not much to talk about. Um, equipment's running good. We've been battling the storms. We've got another one coming starting tomorrow. Um, sand piles holding up well. Point of salt. Equipment is running fine. Um, just having a hard time putting bodies bodies in, mm. in gear. Yeah. yeah. Um, a couple of guys are having health issues and one just don't want to do it no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. 
So that's sort of why we're looking for for new applicants. Mm -hmm. right. um, but so far, we're we're holding it together. We we're trying to maintain three people for a storm. Okay. So you do have one other than you and Tim. Yes. Yes. But he's the one that just doesn't want to do yeah. it anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're making it. I'm sort of twisting his arm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. Like I said, we're mm -hmm. getting by, and it's it's March, so we're not yeah. moving it too far off from, from being free of mm -hmm. the, at least the snow. Mm -hmm. Then there's mud season. There's, there's plenty of greater work to mm -hmm. get done. Yeah. Plenty of greater work than the other ones. So, Brandon mentioned the, or uh, Robin mentioned the roller that was a grant. Um, and I had a conversation with Michael this morning, and he's working on trying to use that money for a sand screen mm -hmm. or towards a sand screen instead of the roller. And we don't have an answer for that yet. He had called the people yeah. from the state, better back roads, to find that mm -hmm. out. Um, just because the sand screen is what I feel is more important, and also it's a the price of them to be built is sky high. More than what we budgeted. More than what we anticipated mm -hmm. and budgeted mm -hmm. for. Right. Now there are other options that we can pursue mm -hmm. um, if if this grant can't be switched uh, you know, to a different mm -hmm. usage. So still working on that. So it looked to me like from all those emails that the grant was applied for, and there was some talk at one point about that compactor thing, and then the grant was denied, and then they came up with more money and said, okay, you can have this money, but that was like in September, and I don't think it got acted upon because I think that was during a time when we were in uh, transition with select board members and road commissioners, and somehow it just got dropped, and then they wrote and they said, well, do you want it or not? So. So yeah, right. Michael's so, still doing that. Yeah, Michael is, is has touched base with them, mm -hmm. and we're awaiting a, a answer for whether we okay. can change that the funds to a different okay. piece Probably. of machinery. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll be moving forward with that. Mm -hmm. Either way, if it if it can't be switched to a different item, then we'll just move forward with the with the roller. Mm-hmm. And. Explore other options for the same screen. So I think that's all I really have to report to. Okay. Thanks for trying to get bodies and seats. Appreciate it. Sure. Yes. All right. Um, we do need to review the list of appointments that need to be made based on the town report we made and a town meeting. We made for you guys if you didn't bring your town reports. Or you can write it just on page 19. We can decide um, who's going to contact different people to see if they're willing to be reappointed. Mm -hmm. Alfred Larrabee's top of the list for road commissioner. All oh, right, that has to happen every year. Right? Yeah. So. Might as well be me first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't scared him yet. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I still don't know. I haven't heard anything from Kim Silk. I hear rumors that he's doesn't want to be dog uh, animal control officer anymore. But and he said he'd still do the buildings, and he would be willing to keep the dogs in his pound up there. Okay, all right. But he doesn't want to have to deal with enforcement. So somebody has to no contact him. Okay. Joshua Corn, should I? I have his email. Should I contact him or health officer? 
He was pretty gung ho before. I know. I don't expect he'll have a problem. It's just that we need to have people say yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, please. Okay. We don't have any planning commissioners up this year. That's what um, I said. Zoning administrator. Mm. Hmm. I'll ask him. Oh, we do need. We need uh, to. Oh, shoot, I should have called these guys. Dave Barnowski and Skip Marcasani on the Board of Adjustment. We should have them reappointed before the hearing on March. But the hearing's not till March 29th, Ninth. I think. I think it's so, 29th. Yeah. So, I'll check with them and make sure we get them appointed at the next meeting. There's still one person needed for the Board of Adjustment. Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> hmm. I think we should come up with a list of okay. people who are still missing, including auditors. And okay. Maybe we should, well, anyways. <laughs> Conservation Commission, uh, I'll ask Jack Travelstead. And Susan, I don't know if she's still interested, and she's sort of an ex officio member of the Conservation Commission. Uh, Michael Gray said he would continue as the Regional Planning Commission and CV Fiber, but because their meetings take place at the same time, he would really prefer to have somebody uh, take over the CV fiber, somebody more technically inclined. I have somebody I can contact about yeah, that. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. I'm, I'm not going to make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at you because you're across the way. <laughs> you haven't been tagged yet. Maybe it's time to go. <laughs> Let's see. We've got a few more options Usually. here. <laughs> I'll stay with uh, TAC okay. and um, Solid Waste. Oh, great. Um, someone else had been willing to do Solid Waste and then bailed, so oh. I've missed a lot of those meetings. Mm. So, But I'll get back into that. Okay. Good. Gary Clark, I'll contact him. We don't have an energy coordinator. Or an emergency management director. E911 coordinator. Uh, I have an energy coordinator person in mind. Really? I'll, I'll, I'll right. reach out. Okay. E911, do we know if he's still interested? I'll put him on my email list, I guess. I'll, I'll contact Jim Schweighelm unless somebody else wants to do that. I'll see him at the next um, planning commission meeting. Yeah. So I'd be happy to talk When's to him that? if you want. Is that soon? Uh, yeah. I think it's soon. Yeah, I have to check my calendar. Soon? Okay. Okay. Uh, Keeper Kim said he would do that. Central Vermont Fiber, Michael said he would do that, but he'd rather not. No, and, I, I think I have somebody who oh, would probably great. take advantage of that. Okay. So, right now the only ones we can officially appoint are Mr. Larrabee. And Michael agreed to the Regional Planning Commission. You agreed to Transportation Advisory Committee and Central Vermont Solid Waste. Do you need a letter? Do you need Robin to give you a letter? I think the Regional no. Planning Commission sends a form. I have a form. Okay. Oh, okay. You have it already. And I, have I a think. Form. I think the Solid I Waste does too. Okay. I know I have a TAC form. I think I have a I have a Solid Waste form too, but I'll okay. check if something came through and I just missed it in the mailbox. Uh, okay. We'll look again. Mm -hmm. If not, I might ask for a letter. Uh, 
So, Woodbury Fund Committee, he said they're all interested. Maybe you can just send one letter to Norman and say that we appointed them all rather than okay. doing it to everybody. <laughs> oh, it's up to you. Okay, so um, the one that is <clears throat> really wide open is emergency management director. Could um, could we see if Josh might be interested in that? Josh, Josh. Horn? As health officer? Mm -hmm. I suppose that's possible. I don't know. It's a, mm. you know, mm. it's it's a it's a question that could be asked. Yeah. Um I don't know. We could talk to Paul if he's willing to do it, but I think that Paul does not. Right. We've asked before for either Paul or Chance to find somebody within the fire department. They haven't been able to. Okay. Um, I'll reach out to okay. Paul and Chance okay. and see if there's someone who might. Just Paul. Chance is no longer on the fire department. Oh. And Michael has also agreed to be some other, well, less, less, not less official, but they don't have to be appointed, to be our liaison with the road crew and to work on the grant, whatever that stuff that he does with the VTrans grants and all Better that. Better roads. That yeah. Kind of and do the beavers, the beaver monitor. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So we got some reaching out to do. Yep. Diana, just to clarify, um, were you going to contact Kim Silk or do you want one of us to do it? I heard you say several people you were going to contact, but yeah. I didn't hear mm. from him. I'll contact you. Okay, I don't mind contacting a few yeah. too. Okay, a go ahead. For you. Go for it. Maybe you can. Right. Maybe you can talk to sure. document. <laughs> yeah. Great. So. Okay. So other business before we do our executive session? Okay. Okay, hearing none. Are we done with the, I mean, are we done with the appointments? We are. So can we move on to yeah. other business? Yep. Yeah. So, you oh, thank you. Hi. So I just have this one update. Um, I thought you just. What? No, nope, I'm just confused. I asked to put the other business after the appointments and before the executive session. I know, but um, he thought we were moving into executive session, so we didn't hear other business. Oh. Who, Steve? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> um, well, I actually think that that's important. It doesn't really have much to do with him, but anyways, this is... <clears throat> the next one of the next steps in the Cranberry Meadow um, project is we have to send out a, we have to put out a public notice um, regarding the sale of not really say well you know granting the conservation easements to the V Vermont Housing and Conservation Board after. We buy the property, although it's all going to kind of happen at the same time. 
But we have to put out this notice saying that if anybody wants us not to do the conservation easement, they can do a petition signed by 5% of the legal voters of the town of Woodbury and a special meeting. It's not about buying the property. It's not about getting the grant, although we have to do this in order to get the grant. So, so it actually has everything to do with it? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, if somebody wants to stop the whole thing, yeah. So you can just read that. Um, BHCB suggested I run this by our attorney, so I'll do that. Diana, just to get me up to speed a little bit on this, what portion of Cranberry Meadows is this? Is this the lake, like where people swim? No, is this, this the is bog? the wetland. Yeah. It's just yeah, the, the southern part. Or, yeah, it's yeah, just southern part. Yeah. They're all ready to give us their ten thousand dollars, but they want us to do all these little steps. I'm working on a management plan with the conservation commission, and a few of the steps the VHCB staff has said that they would do. So, still hoping to have a closing by the end of April. So that's all I had for other business. So I'm just reading it quickly. Is it an area where people currently take motorboats? Like, would we be stopping people from doing something they currently do? No, no, it's, you know, if you look at it, if right where the dam is, where it goes into the stream, I mean, the beaver dam, mm -hmm. somebody who was really used to like just stepping into their canoe or their kayak Mm -hmm. could possibly go in there. And people do that. People okay. who are tall and lanky and have good balance. Uh -huh. sure. okay. <laughs> you'd have to, but you'd otherwise... Have to, you'd have to portage into it. Yeah, but otherwise... It'd be very difficult to use a... It's hard. It's hard yeah. to get in. But people mm -hmm. have done it. I mean... Got, but um, not with something that's motorized. Yeah, it's right. Really because really, it's, it's really so no reason for people to go in there anyways because it's just the you know, rare plants and... Mm -hmm. Some people like to, you know, for educational purposes, it might be nice. A lot of wildlife or wetland experts have been in there poking around over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, this, the half of it that's on the side hill will be available for hunting, although people would have to get permission to go over somebody else's property uh -huh. in order to hunt there, but it's not going to be posted. Okay. Uh, just more, just into Michael. We can just stand there and send it to them. No, Michael's taking care of it. Oh, either and or. Yeah, the, uh, the coffee which, to stay at the town office. Which one is that? The watershed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, any other, other business? Okay. okay. It is. Oh, wow. It is 6.59, now 7, according to my watch. Huh? And uh, we would like to move the Woodbury Select Board for Monday, March 13th into executive session, please. Second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Woodbury Select Board is now in executive session.